Oh my gosh, say what? The iPhone 13 is getting... What? Man, would have never seen this coming. 40% of you watching right now are not subscribed. So do that and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT. Uh, no special fapata thing for today's episode. Listen, Daddy Jern, me, I'm not having a good week. So just bear with me. Today's episode might feel a little weird. Not... This stop, not, not great, not feeling great. But you know what'll make you feel great? This week's episode of Genius Bar, a brand new episode is up on YouTube, our favorite podcast platforms. It's our longest episode yet. I will leave links down in the description to go click it and watch it and feel better about life. Okay, all right, that's it. Let's uh, Let's do this. Let's see where the news takes us. All right, so first up for the day, story numero uno, this one. When I read it, it just cracked me up. <laughs> so, and I needed that today. So I, that's why I'm going to talk about this. So Apple published their annual supplier responsibility report. Yes, that's a thing. In this one, they mentioned the progress they've been making with their suppliers to help improve the rights of workers. Uh, somewhere in there, they also mentioned the progress they've been making when it comes to protecting the earth. Then of course, uh, the progress they've made during the global health crisis, the beer flu. But then... <laughs> But then there's this uh, there's this other part. Tim Cook and the gang were happy to report this year that there were no child labor cases. <laughs> yep, you heard that right. Not this year, Satan! Because this year, unlike previous years, there were absolutely no little children fingers involved in putting together your iPhone. Nah, nah. I really love how this is like, actually a notable part of the report uh yeah you know we improved workers rights uh we protected the environment kept everyone safe from rona uh, and oh uh, yeah uh we didn't ask little kids to do it now to be real right and let's be fair it's not like tim cook himself has been walking up to little kids like he's not been walking up to little joshua and been like hey kid you want a job a little job for your little fingers. With how many suppliers Apple works with in like a lot of countries, it was hard, I guess, for Apple to track down every single supplier doing suspicious stuff. But on the other hand, they were able to report this year that there was no child labor. So obviously, you know, if they try hard enough, they were able to stop it. Listen, man, I don't know. I know you're tempted, Tim. I mean, I know iPhones are filled with tiny little parts. And sometimes you just... You just feel like you gotta hire tiny little people with tiny little fingers to put together the tiny little phones for tiny little paychecks. But you know, maybe, can we not? Can we pick like, anyone else? Hey, if you're a fan of this show, then you know that I talk about WeVPN a lot. It's because I really, really believe in what they're doing and because they are uh, paying me. That is also a reason, but for real, do you know how many offers I get from VPN companies all over the place? And I turned them down because I want to be able to promote only one VPN to you guys. And I want it to be the one that I trust. WeVPN is made by veterans in this space, a group of guys that came from those other companies to start their own. A VPN that's fast and reliable, one that protects you and your data without storing any logs, one that keeps you from being tracked or traced, and one that unlocks content from your favorite streaming services. So if you love this show and you watch it every day, go give them a try and let me know what you think. It's just $2.69 a month right now. That's 73% off. And if you use the promo code FPT at checkout, you'll get an additional 10% off just for watching this show. Sure, there are other VPNs out there, but only WeVPN is a longtime supporter of this show. So go ahead, click that link down in the description to get started with WeVPN today. Okay, so uh, welcome back. Last up for the day, we're gonna go back to iPhone 13. I feel like we haven't talked about iPhone 13 in a second. So we're gonna do that. Let's talk about iPhone 13, but I gotta warn you, brace yourselves, okay? You're, I hope, I suggest you sit down for this one, okay? It's going to be shocking. According to a recent leak, the iPhone 13 will have larger batteries. <laughs> Stay calm. The leak claims that the 13 Pro Max will have a 4,352 milliamp hour battery. Oh, I'm just going to read that as meds now, okay? 
4,352 meds. And that is an increase from the last model. What? I mean, did you really... Do I really need to give you the exact number of milliamp hours from the from the 12 Pro? Does it matter? All right, I'll look it up. Uh, the iPhone 12 Pro Max has a 3,687 milliamp hour battery. There you go. The leak also claims that the regular 13 and 13 Pro will both get a battery increase up to 3,995 mAs. What? And the 13 Mini is going up to 2,406 mAs compared to the current. Okay, for real. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you... Are you shocked? Number one, remember when I reported back in October last year that 120 Hertz would not be coming to the iPhone 12 Pro models because Apple was not happy with how it affected battery life. Those same models were also getting 5G, which also drains battery life. And so last year, they had to make the choice. They had to make a choice of which one was more important for them to market. And obviously they picked 5G. So having a physically bigger battery is like the only option here you already knew that the 13 pros the 13 pro models were getting 120 hertz so how could you possibly be shocked by this next according to the latest most up-to-date cad files that i have personally for the iphone 13 and 13 pro the actual devices are slightly thicker to accommodate that larger battery i mean if they had made the phone thicker but didn't increase the battery that would have been some hey let's ruin the last season of the greatest show ever produced level of stupidity. Sorry, I'm still upset about that. And also, I guess feel free to look for anything cool on these CADs. I mean, smaller notch, new camera layout for 13 and 13 mini, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you, I feel like most of this stuff has already leaked, so don't get your undies wet over it. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm in a mood today. Has anyone ever given you guys CAD files for an unreleased iPhone before? Nope, I am not kidding. Down in the description, I'm gonna leave you two links for these exact CAD files. One for the iPhone 13 and one for the iPhone 13 Pro. So go ahead, download them, play with them, and look for yourselves. Yes, I'm serious. <laughs> go check. Enjoy, internet. Don't say I never gave you nothing. I bet, uh, I bet no other leaker did that before. All righty then. So, uh, there's that, you know. Oh, uh, so that's enough for today. Uh, tell you what, if you need me, I will be hiding from, uh, from Tim Cook.